YouTube world right I'm going to do a quick update on all the tanks the cable stuck it's so big again <laughs> time to harvest chewed moray eel the lionfish and the blunt <laughs> everybody's doing really good as always I apologize for the glass but um yeah so that's what he be looking like that's my view here's my bed you know what I'm saying I'll be laying like this I'll be sleeping I mean I know y'all can't really see but I can see pretty good and he just be poking his head out right there so it's kinda gangster it's like <laughs> you see him breathe but yeah I really like this tank a lot I kind of do wish it was a little bit bigger because I feel like the moray eel is pretty hefty in size. There's a lionfish. All right, let's get to the next tank. It's Catbo. All right. So I actually did a little water change on there. I filled it back up. Um, hopefully, Mini is drinking from this tank because every tank, um, besides this tank, is getting pretty salty. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, we have a ram horn snail right there. And then we have this really big snail. I should have took a video a little bit earlier. But there's this really big snail in there. It's a mystery snail and uh, they be laying some eggs. There's the beta. And the guppy is right there. It's running really well. And um, yeah, I gotta see what's up with the camera real quick. I think the camera had a smudge on it. <laughs> Where's that big ass snail at? Let's see. I don't see it anywhere. But there is a really big snail in there. But that's Minnie's Capo. Alright, let's get to the next tank. It's the shrimp tank. They are doing really well. There's a whole mess of them in there. And we feed about three, four, five a day. So there's probably still about 80 plus in there. And they're doing really well. They're actually doing really well. Put another Anubias plant in there from the freshwater tank. Because it just had too much heraldry on there. So I decided to put it in here and see what happens. The Puffers got a new tank. It was a 20 gallon long. But now it's the 29 gallon. You know what I originally upgraded the uh, Cichlid tank to a 40 gallon breeder. So I gave the Puffers the Cichlid prior tank. Which is the 29 gallon right here. Basically same dimensions, just a little bit taller, but I do like it because I got it pretty full and they do like to chump a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Like, they do chump. It's interesting. I noticed they can chump. So I like this tank a little bit better because I can have the water level a little bit lower, not all the way to the rim, and it's more than 20 gallons, probably 25, and they're not going to chump out, you know what I'm saying? So right now they're back there. They're a little edgy because I just did this maybe you know 30 minutes an hour ago you know I had to put them in the tank and move the 20 gallon you know put the 30 gallon reinstall everything as you can see everything is actually on this side now instead of this side because it's sitting so much taller the wires don't actually reach all the way over there anymore like it did on the 20 gallon <laughs> but I, I like it a lot uh, the puffers are in the corner over here. I don't know if you can see them, probably not. But they are doing good. The salinity is at 1.0089-ish. So right in there. And yeah. Alright, let's get to the next tank. And then we have the 40 gallon breeder. Up upgraded tank for the cichlids. There's Papa looking beautiful. There's Mama. If you've been following the channel, you know that Papa is a little bit of a butthole and he chases Mama around. So she's a little bit beat up, but she's looking good. She's looking actually really, really good. But um, there are a couple things that concern me. So, I don't know. But Papa is looking gorgeous. <laughs> um, it's a 40 gallon breeder, so it's 36 inches long. And I've been waiting to make the video because the prior tank where the cichlids came out of the 29 gallon was 30 inches long and the LE strip I had was only capable of covering 30 inches max so I had to order a new light strip which is 36 inches long now 
and yeah I had to wait for this light strip because everything was literally red from these lights <laughs> so even the fish was red everything was red so I really had to wait for this light strip to make the video and they're looking gorgeous you can actually see colors now green blue and white and whatnot and hell yeah I got a flowy plant. I'm still fighting the hair algae problem. I'm pretty sure it's from these lights here because they're pretty powerful. I actually want to match this light to this light because there are two different kinds and this one's really high in reds and blues and this one's really high in you know whites and reds and blues and what's not. So I want to match them up. But yeah, they're doing really good. I like my aquascaping I did. I got these wood plants in here or um, drift wood to hold the substrate into place so the plants can be in there really good got three different kinds I got my fish <laughs> I got another piece of wood got a power head and uh, yeah so that is the um, 40 gallon breeder alright well that's all my tanks guys and I wish you a nice night and y'all be good laters